what we need to very clearly differentiate on the eve of the election in nagaland is the difference of intention the intention of the congress party is very well known to the people of nagaland the emotional bond which with people of nagaland have with pandit jawahar lal nehru with mrs indira gandhi with mr rajiv gandhi and when i take the name of mr rajiv gandhi we all get emotional because of his connection with nagaland two days before he was brutally assassinated he was in dimapur and in dimapur he accepted the demands of the rebels to have the highest level consultation negotiation unfortunately he was snatched away by fate just two days after he made this promise but mr pv narsimha rao i think it was in paris where he reiterated this resolve of the government of india and we carried it forward so the congress party when it comes to nagaland has been full of respect for the people of nagaland it was on 1st of august 1959 when pandit jawahar lal nehru announced in the parliament the decision to convert the, Nag the naga hills twensang area into the state of nagaland and then then 1st of december 1963 of course the beautiful state of nagaland was born that relationship which the congress party has with the people of nagaland can never be undermined can never be taken lightly now you compare this intention of the congress party vis-a-vis -vis nagaland with the intention of the bjp and the puppets of the bjp who currently rule the state mr rio in 2003 mr rio made some promises did not honor those promises issues still remained unresolved because his intention was never to resolve the issues his intention was to buy time but who paid the price the price was paid by the innocent beautiful intelligent people of nagaland who stood to gain mr rio and for the last 8 and a half years those who control the government of nagaland sitting in delhi so our manifesto when you go through the congress manifesto again our intention our crystal clear intention can be seen in the manifesto we are worried about the youth of this state we are talking about the employment for the youth we are talking about libraries we are talking about water supply i mean look at the chief minister of the neighboring state himanta biswa sharma comes here and gives a certificate to the phc minister what use is that certificate do they get regular water supply let mr himanta biswa sharma put his hand on his heart and tell us that he means to give that certificate that the certificate is well deserved by the phc minister no he does not deserve that certificate people of nagaland people of dimapur they don't get regular water supply the congress party talks about these basic amenities that people of nagaland deserve and they should get it because that's what we believe in governance to us means fulfilling these promises these are not empty words not the words of rio not the words of mr amit shah not the words of mr narendra modi these are the words of the congress party and our very able leaders here are very ready to be held accountable for every word that is written in our manifesto they are not running away 
they are not afraid because they want to honor these these promises we have promised a separate directorate of school education <coughs> of course nagaland deserves it why should it not be done we have promised a mini secretariat at tuen sang that helps in easing the interaction of the people of nagaland with the bureaucracy with their ministers with their officers we have also promised relocation of duda at tuen sang again to make life easier 33% job reservations on the basis of annual vacancies that's a promise which you will see when we form the government we'll honor this one it will be our priority to safeguard the interests of nagaland on all fronts unlike the rio government which has only failed and disappointed the people of nagaland the ro drinking water tanks for villages are a must the roads to farms sewage facilities hostels for colleges i mean it's a pity you know if the entire football team of india had only you the youth from nagaland we will be world champions i have no doubt about that that's the kind of merit our youth of nagaland have but nobody is bothered rio definitely is not bothered why should our sportsmen of nagaland not be given opportunities to play internationally it's very important and we'll fight for that the thousands of crores of money that we all know who has swallowed in this state that man will be held accountable we promise you that i'll come back again when we have our government and we'll make sure that the guilty are punished and the money which belongs to the people of nagaland is returned to the people of nagaland that's a promise which we are making to the honest people of nagaland know who is lying and whose words have value we are sure that they'll vote responsibly and they'll vote for change thank you your questions how do you plan to uh, implement this are you uh, are you confident of winning winning the elections or you are looking long term we are absolutely confident of winning the elections forming a government and delivering good governance to the state of nagaland absolutely confident people are ready for a change people want a change and the change will be brought by the people of nagaland along with the congress party so with the number of candidates you are fielding you are confident that you will absolutely yes what what do you think i mean has made the congress to lose crown in nagaland over the past two three elections i think this is not the time to do a post mortem of what of the past the people of nagaland and the congress party is looking at the future at a glorious future a glorious collaboration between each other so that the youth of nagaland can get jobs the women of nagaland can get jobs villages can get infrastructure roads regular supply water supply regular power supply these are the issues that people are interested in nobody is interested in a post mortem of what what went wrong when of course as a party we keep <coughs> introspections we do do a lot of fact finding and correct our mistakes and move up, move on i'll add one thing in there honestly you know in my observation i think naga intellectuals have lost in the baden mind to decide the future rather they are slaves of money and power when you look at the way the candidates were rushing for other political parties which has no presence at all in nagaland 
they did not even stand on one issue, not even one word. But LJP, people have rushed to accept LJP because it is close to the chairs of Madi. I think this LJP and BJP will also finish NDPP. The intent of LJP and NDPP is to eliminate NDPP. In the midst of their fight, I think Congress has the prospect. It is the people of Nagaland who should decide at this moment because if you accept the standing we have given to the people of Nagaland, if the people appreciate our standing for the Nagaland, I think this is a time where you decide to vote for Congress. There is no reason why we should vote for BJP and NDPP or LJP. Do we want to continue in the same situation, remain stagnant? I don't think that is right for any intellectual person. Therefore, we are confident even the weakest candidate should win with our manifesto if people are able to digest the election manifesto. And the power behind us is the Indian National Congress, which will be coming to power in 2024. Yes. Therefore, we are confident we will form government, give a change to Nagaland.